Welcome everyone, and today we're going to be doing a 2024 uh, Democratic primary prediction. So this is in the case that Biden does step down, and um, it's a three-way race in the Democratic uh, primary between Kamala Harris, the current vice president, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, or AOC, a U.S. representative from New York who has said she is a Democratic Socialist, she is extremely progressive, and Andrew Yang, who really became popular in 2020 after he ran for president. He is a businessman, um, you know, of course not one of the hugest businessmen, but, um, you know, he, um, he's pretty popular, but, um, Andrew Yang and AOC are going to be seen as people who are want to change the system, not necessarily break the establishment, that would go for AOC, but not really Andrew Yang, but just change the system of how presidents are elected and how, you know, presidential elections are held. And Kamala Harris will be seen as the establishment Democrat, I'm sure, as Joe Biden's vice president. Now, you might think uh, Harris, well, Kamala Harris would just sweep the country. Well, that, you know, since she's the vice president, that would be true if she was popular. Kamala Harris is extremely unpopular right now, and many people won't vote for her because they don't think she did the right job. So this is as of, what's the date today? Uh, November 18th, 2021. All right, so... As of right now, the president and Kamala Harris are both extremely unpopular. So, a Biden-type vice president will be unpopular, especially one who actually is unpopular, and approval ratings show this. Um, all three are pretty progressive. I would say Kamala Harris is the, um, hmm, AOC is probably the most uh, progressive. Kamala Harris and, and Yang, I would say, are tied, but hey, you could have your own opinion. Uh, home states, Kamala Harris, I do think, would win her home state of California. You know, this is a state that would just go to her. It's as simple as that. And both AOC and Yang are actually from New York. But I do see New York going to AOC just because this is more of a, a progressive state, you know, with many more uh, poor poor people that will tend to vote for AOC. I def you know, she represents these people. Andrew Yang does not, right? Um, all right, now, oh, geez, this is... It's actually a pretty hard prediction here just because just because of the Andrew Yang factor mostly. Because Yang, you know, he will he you know, he's gonna be pretty weak. Will he win even anything? Because AOC will take so many of his votes away. Um AOC really will sweep uh this these safe Republican states in the general election. Uh because you know, these are Bernie states, right? These are very progressive states. Well, among Democrats, the Democrats in these states, not the population, but the Democrats in these states are very progressive. These are all Bernie states in 2016. Um, If Bernie had stayed in the race, these would have been Bernie states in 2020. I, it, They just can't go to anyone else, really. I, I just, I don't see it happening. Um, Remember, AOC has said she is a democratic socialist, so that really will turn Hispanics away, even though she is Hispanic herself. Probably more liberal Hispanics who are really more into politics rather than, you know, than their parents escaping um, countries because of communism and socialism. Either they would tend to possibly vote for AOC. Um, AOC, I, w I see winning in, in a state like Alaska. This is another state where the Democrats are very progressive. Um... You know, I will give Andrew Yang the state of Hawaii. I definitely think that he would win Hawaii. Because, you know, of course, this was a Bernie state. Definitely Bernie state. Um, and it didn't go to him in 2020. But, um, but the Asian American population, they're going to adore Yang. Yang will be very popular. Note that Yang is a light purple here, where my mouse is. And we can kind of see that on the bar graph there. Um, Alright. Anyway. Um, you know... Yang, I think that that Republicans who are going to hate the Republican Party even more are going to vote for Yang. I think they're going to become Democrats, many of them, and really become um, become united with the whatever you want to call it. I don't know um, what the Democrats. But anyway, uh, going to the West Coast, hmm, this is hard. These states, I see them going for AOC or Harris. Um. But Harris's approval ratings, we have to remember, are very low, and AOC will bring a you know a new fresh start kind of sense. I think Andrew Yang would do well in states like Oregon and Washington. Um, 
I will give him the state of Washington, but I think that Oregon would have to go to AOC. I give him Washington because this is a state with many cities, many small business owners, just business owners in general, that are going to to really love Yang. And the poor people of the United States, those living in poverty, they're going to turn out heavily for Andrew Yang. I know they didn't in 2020, but I do think that that's largely due to the fact that there was so much vote splitting and that bit you know people saw it as you know a clown show you know with so many candidates but with three candidates with three major candidates running against each other people are going to pay attention to each individual one um aoc i think would win in a state like nevada this is a state with minorities and it's a pretty progressive state that i see going to um the new york representative um but hmm arizona in New Mexico, I see this as Harris territory because of you know the region that it is in. This is an area that where AOC won't appeal as much to the people in these states. Plus, Harris comes right next door from California. Sure, this is a state that necessarily loves the president or the vice president really, but among the Democratic Party, I do see Harris as uh, the victor here. Um, Colorado, I I think this would be a Yang state. I do. You know, this is a pretty progressive state. But, you know, Democrats, there are pretty conservative Democrats, and I think many of these, you know, former Trump supporters, former 2016 Trump voters, they're going to turn out heavily uh, for Andrew Yang in a state like Colorado. I don't think, you know, AOC is just too far to the left. Andrew Yang is to the left, um, but, you know, not as much as, as um, what, whatever her name is, AOC. Uh, Texas would definitely be a hair state, I'm sure on that. It, you know, it always goes to the to the establishment Democrat, really. Minorities always turn out for the high, um, for the Democrat establishment. I will point out that African Americans are going to be heavily, uh, no, Harris will be heavily backed by African Americans. You know, AOC is Hispanic, uh, Andrew Yang is, uh, Asian American. You know, African Americans, you know, maybe some will support Yang. Many did in 2020. But AOC, I don't see. And Andrew Yang, you know, he's not going to gather men. I think he could gather a good amount. But Harris, as the vice president, she will win most of these African Americans. Uh, moving up to Minnesota, I think this would be a Yang state. Because this is a state where the president or the vice president, where Harris or Biden, are doing. Or, are pretty popular, right? But, um, so, you know, you might think like an AOC figure would win here. However, this isn't a state where Democrats lean so much to the left, right? Like California, Oregon, Washington, Hawaii, you know, Arkansas, even the whole Midwest, Colorado, right? Um, so, you know, this business aspect, I think this uh, would be a state that would go to Andrew Yang. All right, Iowa. Iowa caucus. Um, you know, this is the first... This is the first competition in the oops sorry, in the in the entire race for the Democratic nomination. So, um, the first one typically goes to the one in power, the the front runner, the top person in there. Um, mm, uh, <laughs> however, this is a Midwestern state that doesn't typically go to the Democratic establishment. I will give this to AOC. I don't see this as a Yang state at all. I don't think Yang has any shot in this state, maybe 15, 20 percent of the vote. Um, you know, just because he doesn't have much of an appeal in the Midwest. Uh, and I see this as an AOC state because, you know, these Democrats in here, these are very progressive Democrats. And this is another state where Kamala Harris, her approval ratings are not doing very good. Um, Kamala Harris will sweep the South. I mean, it's as simple as that. Joe Biden. Uh, swept it in 2020. She will definitely win the South Carolina primary. I'm positive on that. I will leave Kentucky undecided for now. Um, Georgia, I see going to her. North Carolina, I see going to her. She is African American, and African Americans dominate these primaries. Um, Florida? Florida is going to go to Kamala Harris again, another Democrat establishment kind of type state. Um, but mostly because, you know, this would be a competition between AOC and Harris. However, AOC, you know, she's Democratic Socialist. Hispanics will be turned away, and Hispanics, Latinos will be key to a uh, AOC victory in Florida. But she won't have all of it, and the state will uh, go to Harris. 
in Illinois, you know, this is a very democratic state, pretty progressive, I would say. I do see Andrew Yang doing well in a state like Illinois with many of these cities. And I feel like they're too establishment to go to AOC. And Kamala Harris will be very unpopular, um, you know, as of right now. She's on track to be very unpopular in 2024. So this really is a hard state. Hmm. I think that if AOC could win in New York, in New York City, I think AOC could win in Illinois. The states are very similar. AOC... Super unknown could win a house seat in New York, you know, in New York City. And then she could win in Chicago, and she could win in other cities in in Illinois. And I ultimately think that that will flip the state. Um, I think it would mostly be a competition between AOC and Andrew Yang because of these businesses here, you know, like e- economic Democrats. Hmm. Wisconsin, Wisconsin, I see actually as an Andrew Yang state because. Remember, these Trump support, these former Trump supporters, these 2016 unsatisfied Trump voters, they're going to switch the Democratic Party and turn out heavily for Andrew Yang. And that's a state like Wisconsin where Trump's approval ratings are not well and Harris's approval ratings are not well either, or Biden's. Um, Michigan, I definitely see as a Harris state just because of the high African-American population. I don't think we're going to see any major, you know, surprise here. Um, Indiana, hmm. Indiana is a pretty, is, you know, the de- this is a state where the Democrats are very liberal and progressive. I would see them turning out heavily for AOC. Uh, Kentucky, I left as undecided before. I'll give it to Harris just because of the African American population. In Ohio, I think this would be an AOC state uh, because these, you know, suburbs, these families, I think, you know, this would be a state where the Democrats, they don't want an establishment Democrat anymore. They want someone like AOC, and I think, you know, it would be a competition between AOC and Yang, but I think AOC would edge out a win here just because of name recognition and all that, plus the fact that Andrew Yang is a businessman. Uh, West Virginia would surely be... Er, you know, it, it's known for being so progressive among Democrats, excuse me. The Democrats in there are known for being so progressive, and there's such a Bernie state in 2016 and 2020. But Andrew Yang, I see getting Trump supporters out in a state like West Virginia, but I just think it is too progressive and too many people were vote this Bernie kind of way that it would have to be an AOC state. Uh, Virginia, sees, I see as a pretty establishment Democratic state. Um, I will put it in the Harris column, I do think so, especially because of the minorities, and Kamala Harris is on the edge of victory. Um, D.C. would definitely be a Harris state. Um, Maryland, Delaware, I'll give her, and that gives her the win, ultimately. Um, I, I see this as states that would go to her, um, you know, especially Delaware being the president's home state. Um, AOC, I think, would win in New Jersey. Um, let's see, can, well, let's go to Pennsylvania here. Pennsylvania, you know, suburbs, they're, they're gonna, I think AOC would be pretty popular in a state like Pennsylvania, I guess I'll give it to her. Um, hmm, this is in the state where, you know, Harris's, her approval ratings are very good. Um, but, you know, I come from Connecticut, I kind of have a sense of what's going on here. But it is pretty hard. I think all three would have some appeal. But I think most people, most Democrats around here will vote for Kamala Harris just because she is the vice president. This isn't this is not an area where Biden's or Harris's approval ratings are that bad, you know. But oh, I'm sorry, AOC would win Massachusetts just because of how progressive the state is. Vermont is Bernie Sanders home state. This would go to her in a landslide. Um, In New Hampshire and Maine, the Democrats are very progressive in these states, too. So Kamala Harris just edges out a win with 292 electoral votes um, to AOC's 201 and to Andrew Yang's 45. So Kamala Harris wins first, AOC wins second, and Yang wins a disappointing third. Now let's say that Andrew Yang did not win because he did split the AOC vote in this scenario. So just, I'm going to change the map here, but just know that Kamala Harris has won this prediction. Um, AOC would definitely be able to carry uh, Washington, should be able to carry Colorado, I think because of the minority vote, should be able to carry New Mexico, you know, but the splitting, but the split votes. Um, she would definitely win in Hawaii, 
Uh, you know, of course, this is such a progressive state. Uh, I think AOC would edge out a win in a fairly progressive state like Minnesota. Rural states, the Democrats are very progressive, so a state like Wisconsin would go to her. And I definitely and I definitely think that AOC would be able to win in Connecticut and Rhode Island without a split vote because, as we know, she is um um what was I saying um she comes right next door from New York. And lastly, I do think that she'd be able to carry Michigan without a split Democratic vote because, oh, and Arizona for that matter, um, but Michigan because of this minority vote, um, you know, I think if if Yang wasn't in it, many wouldn't be as undecided, and I think they would go for AOC. But ultimately, with Andrew Yang in the race, Kamala Harris wins. So, so thanks for watching, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.